Number 10, his silence. Before Will's apology was posted on YouTube, fans thought it seemed kind of strange that the internet hasn't really heard anything from the actor in the four months since the incident took place. He did post on Instagram shortly after the Oscars night and said that violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. Quote, my behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. He went on to say that jokes at his own expense are a part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for him to bear and he reacted emotionally. He also admitted that slapping his longtime friend and comedian was way out of line and simply wrong. Although the apology seemed genuine at the time, not much has changed since then and it seems like he's still trying to justify his actions in the post, when it was supposed to be an actual apology to Chris Rock. So not only was the timing off, but a lot of people are wondering what the second apology was for if he was just going to stand by the argument he made in the first one. But to be fair, in the video, Will said he didn't immediately apologize to Rock in his Oscars acceptance speech because by that point he was fogged out and said everything was fuzzy. Number 9. Chris Rock's Mother If the internet wasn't fully convinced that Smith was in the wrong, they sure were when Chris Rock's mom opened up about how the incident broke her heart. Rosalie, who goes by Rose Rock, told her local news station about what she did when she saw the moment on live TV. Rose thought that the slap was staged until Will started using obscenities. Quote, when he slapped Chris, he slapped all of us because when you hurt my child, you hurt me. His mother also said that she would usually attend the Academy Awards ceremony with her son. However, this year she decided to stay home. During her interview with WIS TV, Rosalie also reacted to Smith's speech for Best Actor and said that no one had even heard his speech because no one was able to be in the moment as everyone was just sitting there and stunned. As for whether or not she accepted Smith's apology to Chris, his mother said what was on everyone's mind. Quote, I feel really bad that he never apologized. I mean, his people wrote up a piece saying I apologize to Chris Rock. But you see something like that is personal. You reach out, which is exactly why the internet is not jumping to forgive him no matter how much time has passed. Number eight, evaded criticism. Among all of the criticism that the actor has received, one that really seemed to stand out is people being upset with the format of the video apology. The ladies on The View really hit the nail on the head when they spoke about how disappointing it was to see Will Smith upload a five minute video addressing what is actually a really big issue considering that it happened to Dave Chappelle too that same month. The host voiced their opinion about the Oscars slap and spoke about Smith's apology video not long after it had been released. While they unanimously agreed that it was a good first step, they still think that he needs to do more. Alyssa Farah Griffin summed it all up. Quote, I think he's got to go further. And even the fact that he didn't do this in more of an interview format where he might get challenged with some tough questions, I was a little surprised by. She then went on to say that it's a lot easier to say something scripted to camera than to ask, what was your motivation? Why didn't you then apologize in your acceptance speech? Alyssa feels Smith should have sat down with Oprah because she would have challenged him. Joy Behar also agreed with her and thought that he should have come on The View instead. Number seven, Jamie Foxx. The Oscar winning actor expressed his support for his longtime friend by commenting on an Instagram post of Will's apology video. Jamie said, quote, Love you, bro. You're still that young man from Philly that we fell in love with a long time ago. He then went on to say that Will's true fans have never stopped loving him and that they are with him through the good, the bad, and the indifferent. He ended the post optimistically by saying that he looks forward to seeing Will and Chris patch things up between them and become friends again. It's good to see that Jamie Foxx has chosen to support Will and accept his apology. But it's funny that he's helped out the comedian Dave Chappelle in a similar incident that occurred this year. That's right, in May, he reportedly helped Dave Chappelle fight off a man who rushed the stage and tackled the comedian during a stand-up set at the Hollywood Bowl as a part of the Netflix is a joke festival. According to the Associated Press, security guards also chased and overpowered the attacker. The man who tackled him was later taken away in an ambulance before Chris Rock took the stage, jokingly asking if the man was Will Smith, who just slapped Rock on the stage at the Oscars in March. Gotta love the parallels there. Number six, comeback. Will is now making big moves in an effort to have something of a career comeback, which has suffered quite a bit due to him being canceled. It's been revealed that Smith is planning to star in a sequel to one of his most iconic movies, I Am Legend. Speaking to The Sun, an industry insider revealed that Smith has been in talks to reprise his role in the 2007 
original film, which was a complete box office hit, making almost $600 million. The script is still being written at the moment and sources close to the project reveal that the concept is still to be signed off by Warner Brothers, but there has been no indication that Will has been kicked off. The insider added, quote, the reality is that Will will make a comeback at some point and it will simply be down to which studio will be the one to take a chance on him, and added that Warner Brothers Studios have not ruled out Smith returning to the movie franchise at all. So that's where his apology comes into play. A lot of people like Morgan Tremain see it as a PR move and a way for the actor to slowly start rebuilding his reputation in Hollywood. Quote, this Will Smith apology video has a PR team written all over it. They're testing the waters to see how the general public feels about him. Nothing to do with Chris. Gotta love that from Morgan Tremaine. Number 5. Janetta Elzey The American civil rights activist and organizer of We The Protesters was looking at Will's apology from a totally different angle. She wants to know if Jada Pinkett Smith ever got the apologies that she deserved in the incident. She tweeted, quote, Did Jada get an apology from Chris Rock? Just wondering. She then went on to point out the ridiculousness of these so-called YouTube apologies, even calling the whole thing unnecessary. Quote, Celebrity beef is different. Why is Will apologizing to Chris Rock, who is yachting in Croatia with Matthew McConaughey? That man ain't thinking about that damn slap. And Janetta is not the only person who feels that Jada Pinkett Smith is the one who deserves an apology. In fact, many people are now starting to feel that it's unfair that Chris Rock never apologized to her for the tasteless joke he made in the first place. One Twitter user wrote that Will Smith is being compelled to apologize to Chris Rock, while the very idea of Chris Chris Rock apologizing to Jada would likely get you laughed out of the room. It's interesting when you look at it that way. Number 4. Still Defending Jada Viewers of the Oscars this year were left completely in shock when Will infamously walked up on stage and slapped Chris Rock across the face for making jokes about Jada. But what most people don't know is that the beef between the Smiths and Rock actually goes back several years, so the tension has always been there. Chris once took aim at Jada when he was hosting the 2016 Oscars because the couple had very publicly decided to boycott the event. At the time, their protest was due to the fact that no actors of color were nominated for the second year in a row. Chris said, quote, Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. The comedian also took a dig at Will and spoke about the actor's performance in his movie Concussion, saying that it's not fair that Will was this good and didn't get nominated, then added it's also not fair that Will was paid $20 million for Wild Wild West. And while Smith does apologize in his new video, he still seems to reiterate the same point, that the reason he responded violently was because Rock's joke referenced the hair loss that Pinkett Smith suffered because of her alopecia. So many people just didn't believe that that was the reason that he had attacked Chris Rock. Number 3. Justin Tinsley The American journalist specializing in hip hop, pop culture and sports took to Twitter to express his support for Will Smith, following his new video apology. How you feel about the Will Smith apology video is completely up to you, but him saying disappointing people is my central trauma, that resonated with me on a different level. It appears that Will's apology really hit home for the the journalist. It appears that Will's apology really hit home for the journalist and he believed that it was a genuine way for the actor to say sorry for the incident that took place four months ago. In the five minute long video, Will Smith took his time to apologize to Chris Rock as he shared the current dynamic between the two. With Rock still not ready to talk to the actor about the incident, Smith made it clear that he will stay put and wait for Rock to find his footing and whatever he does, he will be there to listen. He also clarified that Jada did not direct him to get on the stage and take action. The rash decision was entirely his own doing. Number 2. Various Controversies This year seems to be the pinnacle of controversy for the Smiths, and the public have lost a lot of trust in them as a result. There's so much there, like when Jada admitted to dating Will while he was still married to his now ex-wife Cherie Zampino, the family's alleged ties to Scientology, or the fact that they were investigated by CPS. But what really tops this list is when musician August Aslina brought the Smiths relationship into the spotlight in July 2020, when he revealed that he was romantically involved with Pinkett Smith and that Will knew about it the whole time and had even given them his blessing. Though Jada initially denied the claims, she eventually confessed to being in an entanglement with August when she and her husband were separated. Quote, we decided we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. 
Smith said during an appearance on Red Table Talk in July 2020. They both went on the talk show together and in a heartbreaking episode, Jada told Will how she came to be romantically involved with August and how he made her feel special because of what was lacking in their relationship at the time. The clip went viral online and for a lot of fans, the illusion of their perfect marriage was shattered in an instant and they didn't appreciate being misled all these years. And number one, product placement. Fans have alleged that Will has used his apology video to Chris Rock as a way to advertise his own products. When the actor took to YouTube last week to discuss his high profile falling out with Chris at the Oscars earlier this year, he opened up about the aftermath of the incident and apologized to the comic for his actions. Quote, I've reached out to Chris and the message that came back is that he's not ready to talk and when he is, he will reach out. There's no part of me that thinks that that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or insults. It was a nice message, but it's not the only thing that people noticed. Fans spotted a bottle of water placed on the table beside him throughout the video, but it wasn't a bottle of water from any famous brand, it was just water, which is incidentally his son's company. People on Twitter claimed that this was a clear example of self-promotion rather than a real apology. One user wrote, Will Smith advertising his own bottled water company during his apology video makes it entirely disingenuous. Or, my favorite part of the Will Smith apology video was the tactical just water placement. Still gotta get that paper even when apologizing. But some people thought that the apology was genuine and that he needed to help out his son's company whenever he can. Safe to say that the not so subtle advertising didn't go down well with fans. Number 10, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The NBA legend seemed to take Will Smith at his word when the actor apologized for slapping comedian Chris Rock at the Academy Awards. Quote, there is no part of me that thinks that that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or insults. Abdul-Jabbar voiced his support for Will Smith and made it clear that he doesn't believe Smith is just trying to save his own skin. Quote, I'm going to look at his words and accept that they are sincere and honest. I'm going to believe that after a lengthy period of soul searching, family rebuilding and moral prioritizing, he was ready to face a shocked and disapproving world, one that may no longer be rooting for him. The NBA star seemed to have a lot of sympathy for the actor as he later added that he is rooting for him. It does look like he did a full 180 though, considering that Abdul-Jabbar was among one of the first people to criticize him following the incident. So while while some might see the apology video as a shallow attempt to rehabilitate his image, at least Will has a strong supporter on his side. Number 9, Jessie Wu. The Haitian American comedian, media personality and singer had some of her own thoughts about Will's new video. She said that her favorite part was his clarification of his longtime wife Jada Pinkett Smith's involvement with the incident. Quote, my favorite part of Will Smith's apology is him making it clear that Jada never told him to do anything to Chris after his joke. Jessie went on to call out the many people who built a following off of blaming Jada and targeting her with their hatred for something that Will did. She claims that people are desperate to make her the villain in the situation. In his video, Will was asked whether or not his wife had asked her husband to do anything after visibly rolling her eyes at Chris Rock's joke, for he stormed off the stage and slapped him across the face. But the actor clarified the speculation and simply said no, that he made the choice on his own from his own experiences and history with Chris Rock. In fact, he said that Jada had nothing to do with it. So while a key aspect of his video that's driving the social divide is whether or not Will was a victim or a perpetrator of trauma, most people have agreed that the shot of Jada giving Will the look was not an indication of her encouraging him in any way. Number eight, Dr. Shola Mos Shogbemimu. The lawyer, politician, and women's rights activist called Will's apology raw and human as she was clearly able to empathize with what the actor was trying to say. Quote, Will Smith apology. I felt it. It's raw and human. I was very disappointed by his actions that night and it looks like he doesn't understand it too, but makes no excuses. But while Dr. Shola was appreciative of Will's public gesture, she also said that Chris Rock's decision to stay away from the actor and take the time he needed was something to be respected. Dr. Shola 
is no stranger to voicing her opinion when it matters. In fact, she recently slammed Piers Morgan after he tried to defend the royal family against racism allegations after the Oprah interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. While she was on Good Morning Britain, the activist slammed Piers for defending the royal family and calling the interview an absolute disgraceful betrayal. So after going through all that, it's no surprise that she thinks the apology was genuine and is able to see it from a more well-rounded perspective. Number seven, cancelled. It's no secret that several of Smith's projects have either been cancelled altogether or shelved in the fallout from the Oscars incident. And that's why people are quick to assume that he's only apologizing for damage control. His career really took a hit. For instance, Apple has already delayed the release of his film Emancipation to 2023, and Netflix has stepped away from Fast and Loose, a drama which was supposed to star Smith and canned the sequel to his 2017 action film Bright. Sony has also reportedly paused production on Bad Boys 4, and this Joker has been cancelled as well, which was a stand-up comedy show hosted and executively produced by Smith. The series featured a raft of stand-ups including Punky Johnson, and Chris Estrada. So it's no surprise that fans and even fellow celebrities believe his apology video is just another strategy to combat the wave of cancellations. For instance, American comedian Christopher Titus was among the many Twitter voices that condemned the apology as insincere and self-centered. Quote, Chris said he'll contact you when he's ready. Why are you pushing him? You attacked a man on global broadcast. You don't get to pick the redemption schedule. And by doing it publicly, you made it about you again. Well, number six, Billy Porter. The American actor, singer, and writer was a guest on The View, and he discussed Will Smith's latest apology video for the Oscar slap that occurred earlier that year. Porter praised Will for not blaming the incident on anyone but himself and taking accountability for his own actions. Quote, it's nice to see that it's no longer the devil made me do it. It's not the devil's fault, it's your fault. To take responsibility for that is the right thing to do. Porter implied that now, with all things considered, he wouldn't judge him for just having a bad day. But his attitude towards Smith was a little different earlier that year. While speaking to Entertainment Tonight, Porter gave a thoughtful and forceful condemnation of the incident, likening Smith's behavior to unchecked misogyny, and said that it's upsetting and really disheartening when a version of masculinity shows up like that. He concluded his comments by saying, Will's example of toxic masculinity has only made Porter more determined to be himself. And I will be the black queen that I am because if that is the representation of what masculinity is supposed to be, I don't need it. So he's definitely changed his tune over the past four months. Number five, Jaden's tweet. The internet has been dunking on Jaden Smith since he was old enough to give interviews, but the 23 year old really added a lot of fuel to the flame when he posted on social media backing his father for attacking Chris Rock. Right after the incident, Jaden came rushing to his father's defense, tweeting, and that's how we do it after the slap was broadcast all around the world. The rapper and actor also shared a photo of himself wearing sunglasses, looking dazed in the backseat of a car, with the caption, My dad's speech made me cry. The photo got retweeted more than 42,000 times and was met with mostly negative responses from social media users. Some alleging that the star was a hypocrite because earlier in the month he tweeted, Praying for peace in the world. Some users mocked his tweet by using his own comments against him, saying that he should instead be talking about the political and economic state of the world right now, which was pretty hilarious, but it goes to show you how much the internet is really starting to turn against the Smiths, because Jaden was not able to support his dad without being roasted on Twitter. Although he might have been trying to help, he was really just making the hate train worse. Number four, Fraser McDonald. The English YouTuber and commentator, better known as I Never, has put his two cents in about the whole situation and looks at it from his own standpoint. While he condemned the Oscar slap in the first place, he was also able to sympathize with Will Smith. Quote, I don't agree with Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, but his apology to me is clearly so genuine and sincere. I'm also not really surprised the man slapped like he did. He has been constantly berated by the media for years now and made a mockery whenever he was vulnerable and sad. Fraser went on to say that we can either agree or disagree with Smith's actions at the Oscars, but he condemns how much context was removed from the buildup to the incident, and he hates how everyone believes the actor is now this awful human 
human being. Right after the slap occurred, the YouTuber was quick to criticize the excessive backlash that the actor received. It's crazy how they're doing more to punish Will Smith than they did to any Hollywood predator. To be fair, Will explained why he didn't mention Rock in his Best Actor acceptance speech and claimed that he was unable to focus in the moment and said everything went fuzzy, which is probably just down to the adrenaline of the situation. Number three, the first slap. This is really bizarre, but after the slap incident at the Oscars, now another piece of information about Will has surfaced online. The old video started doing the rounds on social media, and fans were shocked to see that Will had slapped a reporter when he leaned in and tried to kiss the actor at the premiere of Men in Black 3 in Moscow in 2012. What happened exactly? Well, the actor was on the red carpet when the Ukrainian reporter approached him. Alleging that the reporter tried to kiss him on his mouth, Smith pushed him away before slapping him with the back of his hand. The reporter was a prankster named Vitaly Seduk, who was asking for a hug but got slapped instead as he went too close to the actor. After the Oscars incident, Seduk reacted by comparing the two moments with photos on Instagram. He captioned the post with, quote, but Will Smith practiced on me first, only to perform his slap at the Oscars. Will later explained himself in an interview with David Letterman, who asked him why he beat up a guy who was trying to hug him. Quote, I didn't beat up a guy, he says, I'm your biggest fan, can I have a hug? So I go in to give this joker a hug and he tries to lean in and kiss me. The old video started a fierce debate over whether or not Will is erratic and violent, or if other people would have reacted the same if they were in that situation. Number two, Cherie Zampino. Will Smith's first wife and mother to his son Trey Smith took to Instagram to express her love and support for her ex-husband following the release of his apology video that still seems to have the internet really divided. She addressed her comment directly to Will, saying, quote, you are so loved. My prayer is that the grace you've extended to so many will be given to you. It's good to see that she's publicly supporting the actor now, considering that she's been silent for quite some time following the incident. During the infamous slap, Zampina was watching alongside her co-stars from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills at an Oscars viewing party. An insider source close to the star claimed that after the altercation, Cherie looked embarrassed and reportedly skedaddled from the viewing party, which was brimming with other stars. Probably in an effort to avoid being questioned by the other celebrities. But on Instagram, she kept things positive and showed her support by posting a photo of herself with Will, which was taken after the awards ceremony, with the caption, epic night, congratulations again, when one wins, we all win, hashtag family first. And coming in at number one, Tyrese Gibson. In a post shared on Instagram, Tyrese Gibson reacted positively to Will's apology and had nothing but praise for him, even referring to the actor as his hero. He wrote a heartfelt comment on the Instagram post of the video. Quote, we all just watched a video with all heart that would have never been uploaded from anyone on earth like this but Will Smith. After three months, as so much other stuff has happened in the world, he's been paused and put in mental, emotional, and traumatic prison. Tyrese went on to say that when you act actually care for people and how you affect them with your words and your choices, you lose a lot of sleep over those tiny mistakes. The actor and R&B singer rallied behind his friend. Quote, Will Smith, if you see this message, big bro, the real ones out here love you and have never stopped loving you because we know that you are human. He added words of encouragement and support, saying that he has never stopped loving everyone caught up in the incident, including Chris Rock and his family, as well as the Smiths. But Tyrese also called out the hypocrisy and claimed that Will only broke the internet because of who he was and insisted that if anyone else did it, quote, it would have been in the vlogs for four days and been over, which is a really interesting take. Oh, 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 oh,